more excuses. Then I acknowledged my sin to you, and I did not cover up my iniquity. I said, I will confess my transgressions to the Lord, and you forgave the guilt of my sin. Psalm 32, 5. Someone once said, Any man who has himself for an attorney has a fool for a client. The great evangelist Charles Finney clarifies this great mystery. He wrote these words, Now it is understood that when a man pleads guilty to something, he must refrain from making excuses and appeal only to mercy. If I defend myself fully, knowing I am innocent, I surely have no need for a confession. But if I am conscious of having done wrong and freely confess my wrong, I appeal to mercy. Confession is the direct opposite of self-justification or defense. So it is in parental discipline. If your child is defensive and sternly justifies himself, he makes no appeal to mercy. But the moment he throws his arms around you with tears and says, I am all wrong, he ceases to make excuses and trusts himself to mercy. This is also how it is in the government of God. To trust in mercy, you must fully give up all reliance upon being your own defense. You can make no more excuses. Mercy, by definition, is undeserved forgiveness. Every sin we commit requires God's forgiveness. Any attempt to defend ourselves is vain and mocks mercy. Let us all strive at the first inclination of conviction to fall face first at the feet of our Savior, confess our sin, and plead for his great mercy. Wow, that's a good word, especially in the times we're in. And I pray right now that you all would rest in his great grace and mercy today and fall at the feet of our Savior. And um, this devotional was taken from Steve Hill's book, Daily Awakenings, and I pray you'd have a blessed day.